man. I mean... filming at 1, but Scotto decided to take a meeting until 2 p.m. And now here we are. This is every day. This is every day. I have a call. Vin has a call. Scotto has a call. Just how it is. Where is this warmer? Oh, okay. Let me say you can destroy. What are we doing today, Vinny? We got a bunch of cars. We moved into this new shop and we were like, God, this place is so big, so much room. And then we're like, wow, there's no room for all of our cars. So we figured we'd update you guys on our company cars. And then maybe another episode, we'll do a whole episode on Scotto's cars. Right, because there's a clear distinction here, right? Uh, because Brian is feeling a lot of pressure from you guys about all of his unrunning vehicles. So he wants to draw a line to say, <laughs> these are company cars and then these are my cars, which will be in maybe another episode, right? Do you have more cars than this? These aren't my cars. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, One, seven two, three, of these, four, five, seven six, of these seven, were your eight, idea. Nine. Company cars, not mine. This, is the, right this is the package right here. This is what we're working with. Oh, so the goal for today is to walk you through all of the builds, the company builds, and maybe make some decisions on whether or not we keep them, make them better, fix them, burn them. Knuckle Busters E36. Man, Dan built this thing. It's not my car. This is not oh, Dan's car. So this my is car. part of the episode, because everyone thinks that all these cars are other people's cars. It's not my car. So when we first brought Dan in, one of the first videos that we did was Knuckle Busters, which was like a project that we did with Edelbrock. We you did, built we this built, vehicle. Yeah. yeah, we bought a fourth gen Camaro for like 2,500 bucks. And we bought an E36 M3 for like 2,000 bucks, and Dan made them one car. <laughs> Can you imagine buying an E36 M3 today for 2,000 bucks? Yeah. I mean, it was a real hunk of shit. Yeah, but, but that would yeah. still be seven grand on today's still, market. Probably, yeah. We've been talking about this thing needs an overhaul bad. So we did a few things. We pulled out the dual manifold, mainly just to simplify everything and just make it a better yard car. But what is this thing? It's LS1 with LS3 heads to T56. It has the wrong gear in the back. That's one of the- Actually, I think Micah cars. fixed that. We fixed that. Yeah, I donated my 391, which I regret, because oh. now I need it. He has a 4.2 though, I was trying to get from him the other day. I mean, it's a it solid runner. This thing rips. It just needs a, you know, a couple things refined. The steering was catching. I think you fixed that. Yeah, it burned up the power steering pump. Yep. So there was just a few issues that it had, and the gearing was one of the biggest ones. One thing we need to explain to you guys, because you you ask a lot, yo, what happened to this? Why don't you drive this? Why don't you take this to that drift event? We move a little faster for ourselves. So like we build a car, we're like, sweet, we're gonna drive this all the time. Just kidding, we're gonna go build 10 more cars and not have time to go take it to go drive. So that's why you haven't really seen this do much. But now that we're in a new place with more space and whether you like them or not, we have Soupy who helps us finish some really good projects. We're gonna drive them more. Who doesn't like Soupy? I like your new haircut, you look you good. Third person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, who likes people that talk in third person? No Damn, one. That was quick. I just caught myself. All right, All right so, so next on. up. Yo, so this car was actually a fiasco to get. This is a 03 Holden Commodore Ute. We got imported to the US and then we actually bought like an 04 GTO and we pulled the whole firewall and dash assembly out to swap it over to left-hand drive. So it's a left-hand drive Australian Ute. Really? Street Fighter made a custom wide body kit for it. It went to SEMA, it was in Forza. Yeah, it was in Forza, which was cool. It was actually like a hero car for our car pack on the DLC car pack for, uh, Horizon? Yep. But like any car that sits on the rack long enough, it gets pilfered. Uh, <laughs> this wasn't like this. Wait, wait, this wait. was a whole car a wait, couple wait, weeks ago. Wait, no, How many speeds is it though? Zero. Oh. Six. So the truth is, Kurt stole the transmission out of this thing the I other didn't day. Steal it. <laughs> well, where is the transmission? Brian approved it. I may or may not have took the transmission for an old project that you're gonna see soon, but we won't talk about it right now. Yo, so. this thing's open for grabs. Can I pull out the? I need six of those coils. 
no. There might be a nut in there, so before you, this gets used for anything, just dump it over upside down. How'd that happen? I just, I just, Flip the I car. don't know how it happened. Flip the car upside down. I don't know how it happened, but just make sure to dump it upside down before you. We may or may not have blown the motor doing the first burnout with it. It was like after a series. Of, All right, we do a lot of really okay. ignorant, well, was, high water temp burnouts here at Hoonigan. Well, so. here's the thing: the diff wouldn't. It was an LSD, but it was like super old and loose, so it really wouldn't lock up. So everyone got really angry at the car, and unfortunately, the motor broke. Yeah, that's what happens. It's what do we do with this thing? I think we just gotta fix up the LS, give it a new livery, and just like rock out on it. But I think we should put a bearer in it. Yeah, we should definitely do something cool. That's the coolest car. You we like have. this thing I a like lot. this car Ron, a lot. You know the answer. Six. V10 up front, VR6 in the back, all wheel drive build, Scotto's game. I know it already. You know, my diary. All right, guys, I'm going to cut this short. Comment below what you think we should do to it. We probably won't listen. We'll do something else. Let's move on to a car that's so fresh because we're like children. This is our new shiny toy, and we love it so much. I love this car, dude. That's all the footage we didn't get of us driving the crap out of this thing together. Dude, yeah. Uh, uh, so actually, there's some iPhone footage. <laughs> And also, Jason Ellis said some really mean things about us off camera, so, so we, we stole, stole his wheels <laughs> and tires. He said he would have <laughs> Other than a set of new balances, this thing is pretty much ready to go. It's already got some wall tap love on it, courtesy of uh, Ron? No. Ron? Ron. Wall tap. I mean, a container drag. This thing's great. $5,000 C5 fixed roof coupe. That's going to be our new yard shit car. Like, doesn't get Anyway, we that. talked about what we we're going to do with it in the last episode. With this in it. We broke it already? Yeah, we already broke it. We had a lot of fun that day though. And then we have this, which no one's seen. We're not gonna show you. Luckily, Next yeah, time. we're just working past it. We, we got a whole other episode that thing coming on this. Whole episode on but you get a glimpse of what it looks like now. Anyway, scumbug. I found a car on Craigslist I wanted to buy, and Vinny helped support it. And it was this, and that was the original scumbug. That was like Dan's first day too. We stayed up all night working on that thing. Yeah, Dan like just started, and we showed up with this piece of crap, and we were like, "Hey, man!" Brakes, lights, all kinds of weird stuff. Try to make it run better. It was a nightmare of a night. And then year two. Year two, Blake Wilkie came in, made it into the, this scumbug V2. Does the steering wheel so, come off anymore? Why? <laughs> Remember oh. year one, the steering wheel would just yeah, fall yeah, off. Yeah. Driving and just steering wheel would come off. <laughs> Yeah, so this just happened and you caught it. <laughs> Text me like, hey, so, what happened to the steering wheel? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't touch it. So this is basically a class five car. Like well, this car? is because uh, Zach. This happened. Connect. Zach ruined episode. that. Yeah, just cut to that. But it but still it did. did good. It was the roughest ride. All right, look, everyone, they got the background. So what do we do with this thing? Just keep keep it. driving it, it's cool. This is the one thing I feel like we really should put a VR6 in. Oh my God. A Get VR turbo in this? <laughs> Get at it, it'll never run again. <laughs> Next car, Hertz favorite car, something near and dear to you. Watch your face. <sighs> They're just disrespecting it even more. $350 BMW, four cylinder, bone stock, full interior, five speed. We welded Ooh. the diff, we put $200 eBay coilovers on it, and we had the most fun I think a lot of us have Yo, ever had it. That was build. a true $600 build max, and it was so fun. unbelievably fun. Unbreakable. We drove that hell out of that thing. Yeah, unbreakable. We got stuck in YouTube. YouTube makes you do dumb things for views, and don't we made it into a safari car. It was stupid. Don't say we. It was my job. I fought it the whole way. It was also a stupid idea. But it's got a red top SR20 from JDM California. Uh, Jimmy Oaks tuned it, and it, it rips. And it's got like a Wise Fab rally kit on it. It's got like a whole rear end Let's from Wise Fab. Real quick. Can we do a no. like, segment just be some donuts so we can end Yeah, we need some donuts. Why can't we, we, we do donuts? We have ramps. Yo, can we bounce uh, this Can thing? we jump it? Oh my God. Can we can totally jump it. You want to jump it, Micah? Yeah, Micah? I want to jump it so bad. Sick, let's jump it. There's jump a ramp it. right there. You set up the ramp, we're gonna talk about the rest of the car. Yeah, you get working on the ramp, Micah. Sweet. Do we not want this car anymore? I mean, I need a giveaway car. Yo, like next, ASAP. Next sweepstakes car right next here. Sweepstakes car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who? Imagine if you want to win shit car. <laughs> you want to win. We'll shit save you car. the pain. 
What if we did shit car and 10 grand on top? Wait, wait, so we give them this plus 10 grand to take I it away from I us? Can't. We don't want to give away something you guys don't want. If you want shit car, just like, you know, comments. I want shit car as a giveaway. Moving on, probably the best thing we've ever built here. For those who might not remember, what did this start as? Oh my Dan? God. It was a $200 Miata. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Kakawa. Kakawa paid for it. Kakawa did didn't buy have this. the cash. So Kakawa had two hundred dollars because he's balling. You know Kakawa. He always wants Rolexes. He bought this for us. It was the worst car ever. Remember it, how many it days it anything. ruined it, for us? Yeah, it couldn't do anything. What should we do with the Miata? I think we should at least. I, isn't that is that no, like, this is kind of amusing to see the intake do that <laughs> every so time. Oh, oh, look! Listen. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> That's our coat hanger shifter bushing that we fixed that on the drift jump. That actually made the car work, you, you dick. You broke it. <laughs> well, <laughs> now you totaled no it. Yo, I don't know. I think this thing needs solid wheel. motor mounts, some wheel wells. And that's really it. Yeah, wheel wells are kind of a must because well, you don't want to get your shoulder maced by a well, tire. Well, this I is actually not really finished. We always talked about adding fenders oh. and like... Oh, yeah. We always what? talked about that's it. True. We just and never... And a bimini top and all that. Yeah. Great. The one car I thought we finished. Wait, wait, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I thought this was done. No. I think you know it's done and we need to make another one. Yeah, I was there gonna say, go. this car needs a best friend. And we tried to make its best friend this punk of shit. This car right here First was all, a blast to drive. It did scumbag labs. We got it for scumbag labs. We did the light challenge. Dude, oh, bone did. stock, this thing was really fun. Dude, this it, thing is a ripper. It's a great time. And then yo, we sent to Saudi Arabia. This is what's inside of it. Yeah, because yeah. we care. Oh my no, god, it's... what happens in here? Saudi Arabia. Oh! Yeah, what should we do with this? Fix it. Because... Fix it, drive it in no, the yard. No, this thing is no, fun. No, no. I, I agree. agree. This is one of the greatest purchases we've ever made. Disagree. Hold up. Uh, Cut. Oh, you never, <laughs> Five years later. Almost always ran. What? Hurt. What? Hurt. I'll drive that. We'll Hurt. get in this right now. Well, I'll get this right now and I'll it. drive and get you lemonade. It's. Hey. Oh. Hey. Stop this what car is so fucking <laughs> sick. <laughs> the lines on it. Look, look at the floating. Oh, yeah, look this is this a, easily the, the best purchase. Land yacht right easily here. We're gonna take it. But look, what you're not understanding about Brian's vision for this is in like 15 years, right? When Brian lives in the middle of the desert, you need a car to sit on your property that looks like this <laughs> with your shotgun yeah. and your, you know, over like your it shoulder. Just, it's just there. It's got four flat tires. It's sinking into the dirt. And what? sometimes you sleep in it just because you love it, not yeah. because you don't have a bed. Chicken look on, on the car can grow, mama. Uh, Yo, what about the Rolls Royce? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk about the plans for the Oldsmobile. <laughs> there we're wasn't a plan. To go get lemonade. There was not a plan except for lemonade. So that's gonna be our. This is a 70s Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 2. We stuck a Hemi under the hood. So this predates like all the stuff that we were doing on YouTube. So the thing actually still runs, but the problem was the rear end on it was so soft. Like, you know, cause it's a Rolls Royce, you need like compliance. That under throttle, it would just make everything move and it would actually just cut through the drive shaft every time. So the rear end would shift so much that the drive shaft would rub the body and cut it in half. Whoa. It's got a T56 Magnum. What you're doing with that? What are you guys doing with that T56? Keeping it in there. <laughs> Her, yeah, this one works. The thing that's crazy about this, KW made custom suspension and the rear is like BMW 740s Seven yeah. rear and then the front is like a shock and then like a GM 2500 pickup lowering yeah, yeah, yeah. spring or some shit. Like it's the craziest suspension setup ever. But since you guys keep asking about this car, we figured we'd finally build it. So, I don't know, when are we starting this? Soon. As soon as Soupy Whenever gets- Whenever Soupy stops yeah. dragging his feet on this new shop. Oh my, I'm gonna take this.
So by this point, you should have already watched the episode where you saw this thing run. So now you know it's a driver, but there's still a bunch of stuff that needs to get finished. We got a carbon fiber hood getting made by K&N. We got the rest of our interior. This thing, we need to ship it out. We need to clear coat this. We need to put the rest of the trim on it. And then we need to shake it down and go do some test hits. Anything else I missed on that? Good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I just wanted to see it go. Peter and James wanted to do something really stupid for their pit truck. Who are, who are you two blokes? <laughs> what are you doing in my garage? Who are these two people, Dad? <laughs> Peter's pretty obnoxious anyway, and he just wanted to be even more obnoxious in the pit to Formula Drift. So the brainchild of James and Peter was this uh, K-truck that they wanted the loudest rotary they could fit. They achieved. It's super, super loud. <laughs> Amira himself hit us up, wanted to build a body kit for this, and he built this tandem one-off kit, which is very beautiful. Made it look really good. Work equips, BC coilovers, custom made everything. And then Soupy pretty much handled the rest of getting everything in there after we mocked it up. Smallest car, widest hips, 13B power, sequential bag, K-Truck. So for the longest time, everyone always said, well, what's up with K-Truck? Because you guys don't ever do anything with it. And we keep saying, it's not our truck. It belongs to Peter. Word house. He just called us and said, you know what? I'm not gonna be back there this year because I got a bunch of other things going on. Doesn't really make sense. So he gave us the truck. So it's our truck now. Thanks, Peter. Was this Peter's problem? So this is what the this is what this, this thing was supposed to do. It was supposed to carry around things like bumps. Right, it was it was gonna be pit truck. Exactly. Why'd they give it to us? It's not even broken. Oh, it, it has a little broken. crack yeah, right It was here. a little broken, and you know, at that level, well, you, you know, you gotta you gotta flex. Right. It's been kicking around the shop for a minute. I think we should give it to the people. Okay, so we got the loyalty squad, which is our email program. Literally, all you have to do is sign up for our email once and you're eligible to win shit like this, which this is this month's giveaway. So if you're on our list, you're already eligible. At the end of the month, we'll pick somebody to win it and it'll get sent to you. All right, you guys know the race truck. This is the official race van of Hoonigan. The winner, I mean, it's undefeated. Every it's race it's ever ran. It's the car in the lot right it's now. never been beaten. Undefeated at TVT. If undefeated. I guarantee yeah. you, if we did yeah. any kind of lot race, By the this way, would murder everything. This thing's a beast. It's just it so is. fast. It does donuts. It does drag racing. It flexes. It carries merch. It does it all. So now that the lockdowns and everything are lightening up, we're actually gonna like start hitting shows and stuff with this. And we're thinking about putting it somewhere and shipping it somewhere. So if you want this to come to New York City, Florida, Atlanta, Oof. Chicago, I don't know, Seattle, tell us where. And maybe we'll send it there for like a month and I go say, to a bunch of I events. Say New York. I Do New, New York, York so that you New guys can force him to try New York, New York. pizza. Yeah. We'll show up at your car meets. We'll give you, you stickers. We'll see you in, we'll see you in New York. We'll see you in New York. Everyone say New York, please. Thank you. So we built this tow truck because people would break their cars at Burnyard and we wouldn't be able to get them out fast enough while we were doing shows. So we built this to drag cars out and then this broke. So, so I'll be honest, I think we'd be, I'd be willing to sell this. You guys yeah. want it? Hit us with a number. It does have a brand new uh, carb on it. Yeah, look at that. Last but not least, the Who You Can Play Your Special Golf Cart. potential to be one of our coolest vehicles we put a snowmobile motor in it and it was a cool concept at first but we just never got around to you know doing what? the finishing touches we need to call the boys down the street Ooh, Ooh, Bill. the banshee boys J built industries yeah. this is uh this is your it. problem now yeah okay well, then i like it yeah boom J built I, industries you're gonna fix I this i will drive us. it after they fix it yeah I'm into that. Yeah, yeah now I like it. You know, it took me like years to notice that it has a hood pin roof. That's yeah, of course. Thing. Yeah, it's a bimini top. That's dope. But a plastic yeah, one. Dude, Kakao this with the little J belt magic. Kakao took this. Yeah, golfing. Kakao drove this. We went golfing with it before we got thrown off the That's course. Incredible. We just need to make this the space race monster. <laughs> like, get him up here right this, now. Oh, this oh my God. Yo, this, or this on this race. first that. Dude, not it for driving it. Not it. Not it. Not it. I'll do it if Jonathan fixes it up. All right. All right. All right. So that's it. That's the. Well, well, there's still death row. 
Oh boy. Let's not even go there. That's, 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 that's Can you give him a little hint of some new stuff on death row though? Oh. Nope. How does the smart keep getting worse looking every time? <laughs> Come on. But the race truck is sick. Anyway, future episode, maybe we'll talk about death row. We'll talk about all our own projects, but we wanted to give you guys an update I can see on frame. everything we got. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, who's paying for the lemonades? <laughs> yo, I, I think something needs to do a burnout. Shikar do a burnout? Shikar do a burnout. Yeah, let's get Shikar out. <laughs> like a dream boat. It started like a champ, no problem. Alright, Michael, what are we doing? Uh, I guess I'm gonna jump it. Oh, God! Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool! Oh, my God. Can I do it again? I mean, another one. Keep the motor. We want to keep we the motor. Keep the motor. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oddly oh. enough, there's no fluid coming out. <laughs> Yo, but it's, it's yeah. oddly in better shape than when, when Zach jumped it. <laughs> anyway, oh. let us know if we should give this car away. Hit us with it. What happened, Brian? <laughs> it's got a dead battery. It don't matter. You guys still look tight. Hey. Mm. Good lemonade hurt. Told you guys. I told you this car was great. Oh yeah, no, this car is sick. 